Hey everybody, this is Diane with Crafting with Fury. Hope each and every one of you are safe and healthy no matter where you are. I am here with a project share from Global Land and I will leave their link down below and I will also leave the link to the products that I'm using of theirs uh, down below so you can go check them out. And this is the house die set. You actually get two sets of dies to make two different size houses. And this die here makes this little cute house here that you can use like an ornament. You can make your little spooky Halloween tree. Look how cute, it's adorable. And that's this die here. And what I did was I put like a little ghost in the window I got this sticker that says keep out and I did like a metallic marker on the roof there and it actually has a little door look how cute you could put something in there isn't that stinking cute so this is this little die and this is the other house die and if you'll remember if you watched my unboxing video I seen this and I thought yep I see a little haunted house in my future and that's what I did is that not the cutest little thing ever and it's a good size little house and what I almost thought about doing is just putting a little bottom on here to where you can make this like into a treat box that would be cute but this house is two and a half let's see if this is two and an eighth and then it is three inches tall so that is adorable but what i did was is i put little pumpkin sequins here i did purple and black for the shingles and then on the side i put a little skeleton this is this is going to be my little haunted house and they're having like a little halloween party and i put some bats up here and then on the back, here's the little fella that owns the house. And this comes with the die set, this little candy cane. Put a little sticker there. And then here's a little skeleton he's hiding. And put some more bats there. And then on the top of the, the chimney here, I have got a little ghost coming out. I thought that it would turn out so stinking cute. But what I thought I might do with you all, if you all happen to get this adorable house set, I thought I would just show you how to put it together. So let me move everything out of the way. And you get so many pieces, so many pieces. All right, so you get this piece and this piece. This piece is the sides of the house. So you're going to cut two of them right here. So you do two of those. And what this piece is, this is gonna be the front and the back of your house. And then this is going to fold over to make your roof. So you are going to need two of these, okay? So that is your base house. I'm gonna put that right there. And I did cut it out in white because I couldn't decide on what color house I wanted to do again since I did a black one. But when I started cutting out the shingles, I thought, okay, I think I want to do a black house with the white and that. So this can go for a later one. Now, you do get, like I said, you get a bunch of pieces. And I forgot before this video started, I forgot to cut out my chimney piece and that's what this is here so I'll cut that out here just a second I need to cut a piece of that out okay and so this will be your shingles right here and what I did with my shingles was I just cut out like right here and I was going to keep it and I'll glue it in a minute I cut out a bigger one and a small one just to make it dimensional so I'll need to glue that one together so I cut out and I'm using an you can do it different ways. You can just do it different ways. But what I did was I did four layers. I think it was one, two, three, four layers on each side of the roof. So that is this. And here, 
All right, stand up there, the house. There we go. You can see that there. Yep. All right, so this is for your door. You get an outer and an inner piece. So the bigger one is this piece here. You cut one of those. That's going to be, and I think I cut it out backward of what I wanted. And I think I did because I was wanting the white and then the black door. Uh, okay, we may have to cut another one out of that too. All right, so that would at least that is, you know that that's your door. You get this little piece here, which is the shutters, which is these right here. How stinking cute are those? So just for the sake of the video, I cut out just two, okay? Or the one this one cut cuts two shutters. So there's that, and. This piece right here, right here, this cuts this little window for the door there. Okay, so just need one of those. And for the doorknob, what I did was I have got, you could use like a hole punch or whatever. And I've got this one right here that I got for We Are, we Are Memory Keepers. And I used this little circle punch here when it, the, the, circle that punched out that's what i used for the doorknob so let's get started and we oh 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 oh! here's the window you get a window look at that cute little die look at all these dies you get and then that's how it cuts out so that's going to be your window right there and let's see here oh and what i did to make my house looked like the lights were on back there. I used a sticky note, a yellow sticky note, and just glued it, glued the little window to the, this right here. And I just glued that, and it looks like the lights are on. So, alrighty. So, there's our window. And so, what we'll do is I'll put all these little pieces aside and I'll just show you how to put them together. Easy peasy. And there is that, and there is that little piece. All right, so you can see, and it's kind of hard, I guess, with the black paper, but what you wanna do, see if you can see the score line there. You want to just fold on the score lines, okay? So this is what this one looks like. You'll fold it like that. And then you fold this one the same way. And just fold it like that. And then what you're gonna have is you're gonna have this piece here. And there is, you fold it right here. And you fold it on the end. Now it looks like, and I'm not really sure at all, but it looks like there's like little score lines right there. But it's so small, it would be kind of hard to fold for me so I didn't do that so and what's going to happen is is you are going to glue this right here and it's going to be your roof so there's you know like there's the side of your house and let's fold this one here can you guys believe today is the last day of July tomorrow's going to be August the first it's nuts I don't know where it goes and kids getting ready to go back to school. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right. So this is what you're going to have. And you're going to have this here. And then you're going to have this piece right here. So let's glue it together. This one was really fun to put together. And this is how I'm going to put it together. That way I kind of make sure that I have it even. So let's get my glue. I'm about out of glue, guys. I'm gonna have to get some more. And then what you wanna do, just get as close to the score line as you can without going over. Give it just a second to make sure that it 
takes hold and see what will happen is then you'll fold this over and then there'll be your house and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this one here right here I don't know how the weather's been where you all are at but it has been miserably hot and so dry we actually thank the good lord we got some rain um day before yesterday or was it yesterday might have been yesterday evening we were needing it we were a dust bowl it's been crazy and see what will happen is is you will glue these like this and then you'll glue these right here so let's go ahead and do this it's easier for me to work this way I think all right and then glue it close as you can without going over make sure your glue gets stuck on there Ta -da! and then what you'll do is you'll glue this piece together here and then these down here now I just don't know of a more simpler way to try to get these things you just got to keep working and working and working until they stick I guess it's what I do so you'll just put these together and that one will go there and I try to get the glue to stick maybe it'll be easier to do it this way trying to get these even 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 All right, I'll try to, all right, and then what you're going to do is glue this very last piece here, and glue this here, sorry guys if you can hear the lawnmower, hubby's mowing the lawn there. And then just make sure that the glue sticks. And there's your house. See? There's your house. There's your house and there's your house. And I'm not, I think what I did on the other one, the way that I tried to kind of glue these just a little bit to where they wouldn't be, you know, sticking out that way all right so there's that and let's go ahead and you'll want to put your chimney your, your little right here on first before you put down your shingles so let's do here's the lawnmower let's do some a black chimney and I'm going to cut it out. Tell you what I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and cut out. I need to cut out this piece too for the door. But since I need, didn't need to. Since I forgot to do that. Or I didn't do it right to start with. We're just going to cut all these pieces out at one time. That way we don't have to worry. So there is my door my chimney and we want white let's see white 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 all right so here's some white scratch paper and so there's that is that the only ones i needed to cut out yep i think so all right so Let's go ahead and cut that out. Thank you guys for hanging with me. I appreciate it so much. 
I don't do a whole lot of these longer videos, but sometimes you just want to craft with your crafty friends. So let's, all right. So here is, did I do it wrong again? Nope. Yep, I did. I'm a ding dong. No, I didn't. There we go. Yeah. I thought, sheesh, Louise. And then here's our little chimney. All right. Get that out of the way. So on your chimney, you can see right there, what you'll do is you will fold it in the middle. See that right there? And then if you'll see right here, you will fold it out and that way you can put it on your roof like this. Whoops, come back here. This is the only time long nails is hard when you try to do stuff like this. So see what's gonna happen is you're gonna put it like right here and you're gonna glue it down. So let's glue it together first. Okay. We're gonna glue it together first. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna glue it on top of the roof which is easy to do because it's the way it's folded. And let's get down here. And then see what's gonna happen when you put your um, shingles down the roof, it'll cover that part and you'll just see the chimney. See? Ta-da! All right, so let me go ahead and glue this together. I can't believe Sadie ain't coming in here and hanging out with us. And see, all you do is you glue the smaller one on the top and it just gives it dimension. You see? So there, and then all you do is stack them. And I'm gonna start with this one and put a little glue on here. And we're gonna start right here. Make sure your glue takes hold and get it as even as, even as possible there. And then I'm gonna take another one and I just put some glue like on the outer edges here. And then just stack them. See? I love that. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, stick on there. And There's that one. And you can see how your shingles is going to look. All right. Then we're going to do one more on this side. Put that one on the very top. See, look how cute. So that's how you do the shingles. And then what you can do, eh, we're already almost 20 minutes in. It ain't gonna take us long to do the windows and the door. So let's just go ahead and finish it. And we're gonna start the same on this side. Start at the bottom. How stinking cute. Love it. And we're gonna put some more on here. Q. 
cute, cute, cute. You can, I think that the, the pieces that come with it is for you to like to do a Christmas house. You could do a little gingerbread house with it. You could do an Easter house. I mean, sky's the limit, guys. Sky's the limit. Very easy die to work with. There's a lot of pieces. That way you can just customize it any way you want. Oh, I love that black and white. I think that's so pretty. See? Look how cute. So there is our roof. And you can see how I kind of left the shingles hanging over. And so now what we want to do, let's see, is that good? Now what we want to do is I want to glue my door down. And so this is the, the outer part. We're going to put it right here. Make sure that sticks. Then what we're going to do is we are going to take the smaller one and put it inside. There's just so many different things you can do. And see, that's what this does right here. See, isn't that cute? And see, you can use these dies on, on cards or anything to make, um, I bet you could put like a window there too. See, you could do a window there too. Look at that. That would be cute. Put a big window on your door. All right, so now, where's that little piece? Da -da 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 -da. Where's this little piece here that I had? Da -da -da. Oh, here it is. So see, this one is going to go right here, like a little window on the top of the door. So let's put that there. They thought of everything about the, the pieces. Get that glue off there. All right. And then what we need to do is put a doorknob and what I'm gonna do is just punch a little circle. There's my little circle for my doorknob. We're just gonna pop this little baby right on there. See? So all you gotta do is just do have a little hole punch. Ta-da! All right, we're almost done, guys. Hang with me just a couple more minutes and we'll be done. And like I said, what I used was these little sticky notes, and I got these from the Dollar Tree. I like my, my lights. I love lights. So what I did was I just glued this little window pane to a sticky note, and it looks like the lights are on. And you could use yellow cardstock or anything. You could even make yourself ah, snot. Look what I did. Look what I did. Snot. Can't believe I did that. Now I'll have to I'll have to put something there to cover that wet spot that I put on my paper. Ah. Oh well. It is what it is. And I just cut around it. Can't believe I did that. But you can always put, you know some grass or something like that right there. All right, so there is your window. And then we're just gonna glue this down. And we're gonna put it right here. And there's your window. Okay, I had ink on my hands, so I got a little bit on there, but that's all right too. I don't care. And then here is your shutters that you're going to put on either side. So let's go ahead and put the shutters down and we are finished.
finished with this little house. So here's the shutters for that. Isn't that adorable, guys? And then here is the shutter on this side. So you can see it's been about 25 minutes and we actually made a cute little house. You can do for decoration, I mean anything. So see, look, there we go. I love it, guys. Isn't that cute? Isn't that adorable? So thank you guys so very much for stopping by. Now this one right here, all you do is you just fold on the edges. I was gonna show you how to do this real quick. This one's really easy. It's one piece. You just fold on all the score lines, okay? And all you do is fold it in, glue. Well, I guess it'd help if I, there we go. So all you do is fold it in and glue and then you'll glue this one down there 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 go on see and that's all you do on that one and then you've got your cute little house isn't that adorable that's all there is to that one so thank you guys so very much for stopping by i truly appreciate it and I will see you in the next video. And may God bless each and every one of you. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.